What's up, y'all? It's Kay Cunningham, and you watch 2K TV. Hey, I'm Brian, and I'm in your neighborhood to talk about the upcoming 2K Compete events. This weekend... Everyone, welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, and thanks for joining us on this fine Thursday afternoon. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much. We have all heard the rumor. All right, David, thank you. And now the Lakers starting group, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Drummond in at the five. And for Brooklyn, we've got Durant. Kyrie Irving is out there with Harden. Then there's Harris. And it's Griffin in at the center, locking down the middle. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments and Listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. And so it's the Nets getting on the board first. James in the post. Harris is there. Oh, that's Not offensive interference. interference. Here's Harden. From the arc. Rebound Andre Drummond. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Nobody near Schroeder. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. A minute played so far here in the first. Schroeder looking over the floor. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Free throw drops for James. And LeBron James, still the face of the league as he goes into his mid-30s. The impact he's had on this sport is really immeasurable. Come on, G.A. I mean, he's one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. I mean, it's scary to think that LeBron can still turn it on and take over when he needs to. And you know what? Playoff LeBron is a very real thing. So he hits one of two from the strike. Oh, you love how effortless James makes this game look. Everything comes easy to him. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 
And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Pass to James. It's from a high post. Caldwell Pope outside. Nailed from three-point land. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Katie against Drummond. Kicks it out to Harden. Brooklyn gets it back with a new shot clock at 14. And the jam by Harden. Really like seeing Harden take a strong inside. So crafty in how he finishes near the bucket. Schroeder outside. LeBron up top, guarded by Harris. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that one's a stunt. Left side, KD. The three from Harden. Again, the miss by Harden. The defense has done a good job of forcing him into tough shots this quarter. And it's Davis with the jam. Oh, the timing on the play is exceptional. Davis arrives right on cue to slam him. KD dishes to Griffin. Harris kicks to KD. Stolen by Drummond. Now the Lakers on the break. Here's Caldwell Pope. Hammers it on to polish off the break. I really like it when Caldwell Pope leaks out on the break. He just finds a way to get past defenders and creates chances for himself in the open floor. Here's Griffin. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Lakers leading by four. That's good from Schroeder on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Schroeder's got his second bucket of the night. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Durant, the pass to Harden. And the layup fall. Uh, I mean, you have to really admire the skill set that Harden has. I mean, in just handling the ball, he's decimating the D with his timeout, number timeout. of moves. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And see where Contavious Caldwell Pope changing his approach before last season. He, he knew he wouldn't need to take on as much of a scoring responsibility. Yeah, and what a team player, GA. I mean, KCP rededicated himself to defense. He tries to do more with less touches now. And that's the mindset you need to have playing with stars going for a championship. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Here's Harrell. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Now, Dinwiddie. Pass to Harden. Banked in off the glass. Harden's got his third basket of the night. He's not just an outside threat. Harden's a player who can score from anywhere. We've got 118 left in the first. Matthews passes to Harrell, and it's good for two. And boy, are they attacking the paint. Well, you know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. Free throw off from Harrell. And between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. He even giving up a few pounds, a few inches, he'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. 
and their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's Horton Tucker. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. The Nets trail by four. Dinwiddie finds Harden. And the jam by Harden. Oh, you love seeing Harden take off for the slam. He has just unreal hops. And Caruso's got the ball here for Los Angeles. Inside. A jump hook. No good off the back of the rim. Brooklyn's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Here's Dinwiddie. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And it's all knotted up. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Kuzma outside. From deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. It's the end of the first with a tie game here. And already these offenses are clicking. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And earlier we spoke with Kevin Durant about surviving the grind. miss out on wednesday i better see all you playmakers at dime time here work with the community to It's the WNBA here on 2K Sports. Tonight we'll see the Chicago Sky as they play against the Seattle Storm. With analysts Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you with us. Outside, Parker. In a poll of WNBA players, an overwhelming majority supported expansion of the league. And what cities would be great additions for a team besides, of course, my beautiful home city of San Diego? Well, San Diego's a nice choice, but I'm biased. I'm going to have to go up California and go to the Bay Area, specifically the town and Oakland. Put a team in the Warriors old arena or maybe even San Francisco at the Chase Center. The Bay has been a huge supporter of basketball and women's basketball throughout the years. Yeah, shout out to the Bay Area, Tim. And, you know, I'd support that as well. I say let's get this league international even. Added in Toronto, a great city with great fans. And Portland isn't a bad choice either. I mean, can you imagine the rivalry we'd see between them and Seattle? Now here is Dolson. Up and in on the layup inside it's about a lot of things to me touch is most important and Dolson knows how to get the ball in the hoop outside Stewart she can't get it to go some solid defense from Candace Parker when I think of the best rookie season in WNBA history, I immediately think of Candace Parker. She became the first player in league history to win both Rookie of the Year and League MVP in the same season. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes played. Now here's Burt. Vandersloot defending. 
And Tim, when you think about Parker's historic rookie season, what other accomplishments stand out for you? Well, I mean, you can go on and on, Blake, what uh, Candace Parker has done in this league. How about 2013 when she got her first All-Star Game MVP, 23 points, 11 rebounds, or even 2016 when uh, Parker helped the Sparks win the WNBA title and was named Finals MVP. Count that bucket. Crashes the glass with effort and intensity. Stewart loves turning boards into buckets. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Parker. Here's Copper, defended by Stewart. Here's Bird. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Outside, Stewart. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to go on Candace Parker. Fouled on that play, but Stewart isn't worried. She's tough and relishes any chance she can get to score some points. And the first one at the line is good. If you want to talk about winners, look no further than Brianna Stewart. Get this, in college, she won four national championships and only lost five games total. And good on both. And after all her success at the collegiate level, Tim, Stewart carried her winning ways all the way to the WNBA. Uh, definitely, Blake. It only took her until year three to win a WNBA championship. And I think there are a lot more championships in Stewart's future. Uh, really, the winning is a product of her ability to make those around her better players. Now here is Stewart. That ties it up. Her shooting percentage is through the roof right now. What a great start to this game. Chicago with the ball. Pass to Parker. To Shields. Tight D, tight D. Now Vandersloop. Dolson with it. Clock at four. Over Dupree. Dolson's shot's good. She's caught fire this quarter, yet to miss. Seattle with the ball. Outside Canada. The shot comes out. Nice defense by Courtney Vandersloot. Pass to Parker. And here's Quigley. Outside to Shields. Now here's Parker. Just five to shoot. Now Dolson. And Brianna Stewart with the block. The incredible wingspan of Stewart coming in handy. She can cover a lot of ground. Basket good. Here's Vandersloot. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the timeout, scoreboard. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And, and kind of change the Coming into Miami, Florida, that's the destination for the Cavaliers. One of the most talented power forwards. 
It's an NBA afternoon game here on this Thursday. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. We all are well aware of... Everyone talks about the Heat culture. It is special. David, thank you. Hard tonight, Greg. Two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. And that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. This one might get heated. I'm, I'm sure you felt that way many times when you play. Almost every time I took the floor. Good. You, you, you Good. literally want to dislike your opponent. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with the coral. And it's Allen in at the center position. And for the Heat. They've got Victor Oladipo. Jimmy Butler is out there with Trevor Ariza. Then it's Robinson. And it's Adebayo in its center. And they pick up two. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Passes it to Adebayo. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Nice shot from Bam there, embracing any opportunity he gets to score in close. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Allen trying to break free. Here's Miami now. Oladipo outside. Outside Butler. that great length and awareness Allen continues to build his reputation as a shot blocker and Jared Allen the big man out of Texas a big part of his impact is how well he moves as a center very long and covers a ton of ground on both ends Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense and so just over a minute and a half played and finished off by Robinson. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finished hard with two hands on that stuff. And with Allen, the amount of four he can cover with a few steps is staggering. And, Kevin, it lets him take away chances and opportunities on D. Uh, on the other end, one step to the hoop, and he's completely relocated as a target. One of the best moving bigs in our league. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter, then he attacks the glass. Filthy. Stolen by Garland. Oh, and here we go. Coro's got it. The fast break chance. There's Allen. That's good on the assist from Okoro. You really got to hit Allen if you want to stop him. Just so long and strong from there. The Heat have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Oladipo with the ball. Outside Robinson. Here's Oladipo. Six on the shot clock. I'm deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And it's love with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Trailing by two. Garland the pass to Okoro. Now here's Love. Guarded by Oladipo. Love kicks to Allen. Five to shoot. Floats one. And Garland with the lay-in. And this game is tied up now. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Allen against Oladipo. Wants to get it to Adebayo when does. Going up the pick, Bam is very mobile. Finds good spacing and his shot. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers.
And the Heat with some changes. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for a reason. Earl comes in for Robinson. And it's Drogic in for Victor Oladipo. Pass to Garland. Here's Osman. Bangs home the trifecta. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. Keeps the defense guessing. They don't know who to try to take away. The pass to Dedman. Outside Butler. Basket good. Those 220 pounds came in handy. Jimmy Butler using his big body and muscling those tough shots. Garland the pass to Nance. Here's Wade. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. Garland, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Here's Butler. And it's Osman with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Windler with the bucket. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Hero. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Good ball movement here by Miami. And here is Butler. Makes it off the glass. I love this about his game. Jimmy Butler recognizing the situation. Playing foul line down. Here's Osman. Defended by Butler. Here's Garland. Another three for Cleveland. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. Miami trailer. Now here's Dragic. Pass to Dedman. Wants to get it to Adebayo and does. Count that bucket. Adebayo's got six points. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Windler the pass to Wade. Here's Osman, defended by Butler. Pass to Windler. Throws it up high. It's deflected. Now Adebayo. He's got six. Dragic with it. Pass to Butler. Loads it up for Adebayo. It's stolen by Nance. One second left. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. It's all tied in Miami. We'll take a quick break, then get you back.